హలో గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ రాయం వీరభద్ర యాదయమయ్య ఫ్రమ్ వివిఎస్ ఎం అకాడమీ స్వాగత కలే మతి విజ్ఞానశాలే గోపనహళ్ళి గోపనహళ్ళి నౌకరర సంఘటన పరవాగి వీరభద్ర యాదయమయ్య స్నేహితరే కరోనా కరాళ దినగళల్లి దినగళన్ను సమయవన్ను నూకుత నన్న ఫారం హౌస్నల్లి ఈగ హైనుగారికే బగ్గె విశేష తరగతిగడన్న గ్రామీణ మక్కలిగాగి అమ్మికోండి దేవే బన్ని వివిఎస్ఎం అకాడమీయింద నావీగ కంట్రీ చికెన్ ఫార్మింగ్ నాటి కోళిగడన్న హేగి సాకువదు విశేషవాద కార్యక్రమ ద రూరల్ టైప్ చిక్స్ నీడ్ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ ఫీడ్ జ్యూరింగ్ ద ఇనిషియల్ సిక్స్ వీక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏజ్ అండ్ ద నర్సరీ రీ రేరింగ్ బ్రూడింగ్ ఇన్ ద నర్సరీస్ ద చిక్స్ ఆర్ రేర్ ఆన్ స్టాండర్డ్ చిక్ స్టార్టర్ రేషన్ కంచి చికెన్ ఫార్మింగ్ రూరల్ పౌల్ట్రీ టుడే we discuss the topic of profitable country chicken farming or desi chicken farming or natu kodi farming natu kodi anna hege sakuvudu vaigyanika tarabeti yondige vvsm academy farm house mukhantara nimagagi ondu mahiti Poultry farming in India has transformed into a techno-commercial industry from the status of backyard farming of three decades. India stands as the third largest egg producer and fifth chicken meat producer in the world. With about 60 million eggs and 2.2 million metric tons of chicken meat, this production is achieved generally by commercial poultry operations. However, a significant contribution comes from country chicken farming also. Desha Delhi, this is a very good thing for the people who are in the country. This is a very good thing for the people who are in the country. Keli, Gopanahalli, Farm House. The establishment of country chicken farming, the main objective of the farm is to ensure maximum security from diseases, environmental pollution and other stretch factors the farm should be located far from any other commercial poultry operation to prevent contamination of the environment and diseases otherwise it will cause economic loss to the farm the farm should be located in an elevated area with good air current and the location should be well connected by road or for easy accessibility country chicken farming or rural poultry farming all over rural birds like kaveri kalinga broom nerbik itakari gramapriya and monax due to its moderate body weight and high egg yielding capacity are more preferred and are semi intensive farm conditions in rural or tribal areas the feather color of all the rural type bird is multiple color and mostly brown egg gets they have better immune capacity and thereby strength of survivability is maximum because of moderate body weight the birds can escape from predators initial brooding up to 6 weeks in brooding unit nursery is required and are let out of semi free range or free range management system management and health cover rural chicks need brooding care during the initial 6 weeks of age after 6 weeks they can be let free for scavenging in the backyard the excess males can be reared separately and marketed for meat purpose the birds need to be initially habituated or trained to return to the nest 
in the evening for night shelter, security and safety. The night shelter should have good ventilation and protection from predators and plenty of clean water should be made available. The birds must be vaccinated against merix and ranicet diseases. There should be periodic deworming at three to four months intervals. The rural type chicks need balanced feed during the initial six weeks of age under nursery rearing or brooding. In the nurseries, the chicks are reared on standard chick starter ration for the grower birds in the second phase besides the feed material available in the free range natural food greens like waste grains, germinated seeds, mulberry leaves, azola, drumstick leaves and uh, saba wool leaves. High protein sources. The need for extra feed depends on the free range available. The intensity of vegetation, availability of waste grains, insects, grass seeds, the average body weight is 1.3 to 2.4 kgs, will be attained by 120 days and if required should be provided with supplemental calcium sources like limestone powder, stone grit, shell grit at 4 to 5 grams per bird per day. This approach yields successful results with a high rate of survivability and good egg production. The eggs laid are tinted and will have a fairly good size. After the liquidation of the world flock, the following operations are required to be created for clean and healthy environment in the poultry house. Remove all the movable equipment from the shed, soak in water and clean thoroughly in tap water and finally dip in disinfectant solutions. Finally, wash in, wash in clean water. Sun dry and store. Litter should be removed from the shed and transported away from farm enclosed containers or in gunny bags and disposed of properly. Lightings and feed and water pans should also be taken out of the shed and cleaned properly. Accumulated dust and cobweb formed on the wall, ceiling, mesh, etc. should be removed. An insecticide is to be sprayed over the litter, walls, mesh, roof, etc. Shed or housing should be washed using a pressure washer. All the repair works of the shed including cages. Flame guns should be used inside the outside house. Walls should be watershed and metal surfaces should be painted if needed. The equipment and fitting should be reassembled and the curtains to be tied. Spray an insecticide to kill the insects should be kept under lock shed rest for a minimum of two to weeks. So these are the beautiful country chicken. This is the male chicken. Unjanta Kariti is in the link. This is a VVSM Academy coaching for ISK CSC competitive examinations and this is an additional information regarding poultry farms and other things which is relating to the competitive examinations of different category in the Karnataka state and in India. So this is Virabhadra uh, Demaya uh, Gopnali contact 9668-28428. Thank you for listening. Thanya Vadaguru Virabhadra Demaya Gopnali Farmhouse. Bunny. ನಮ್ಮ ಜೊತೆ ಕೈ ಜೋಡಿಸಿ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಹಿತಿಗಾಗಿ ಸಂಗ್ರಹಿಸಿ ಉದಯೋನ್ಮುಖ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕರ್ತರಿಗಾಗಿ ಮತ್ತು ಉದಯೋನ್ಮುಖ ರೈತರಿಗಾಗಿ ಇದೊಂದು ವಿಶೇಷ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಒಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಬೆಳೆಯೋಣ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ